Hello everybody, welcome. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. We're going to do something a little different here. And we're going to compare this game, Pure Farming 2018, to Farming Simulator 22. Uh, we're not going to... How much of it we compare might be up to you. So if you guys all enjoy this and want me to do more, we can do more. I was going to do all the tractors, but that would be way too obnoxiously long of a video. So we're going to break it down into brands first, because pretty much all the tractors that are in this game are in Farming Simulator 22 now. And I felt like this would be... I kind of want to do this, and I really dug this game, and kind of, uh, I feel like this is a better game even though this is much older, rather than comparing this to 19 or 17 like has been done before, I think 22 is probably the better game to compare it to because this game has basically all, not all, but mostly all of the same features as 22 does now, uh, and then some actually, so I guess in both, both ways this thing has a couple extra features that farming simulator still doesn't have and vice versa uh... so and now we're in the, like we all know who the winner is going to be including myself even though i thought it would probably be a little bit closer uh... but then farming simulator did just have another update and made the graphics look even better very akin to like this game back in the day like when it first came out it looked good it looked alright but then they had an update and it was like pretty much night and day. Uh, so anyway, we're going to do the Z Tour tractors now first. So we'll try and do all these. We'll First I'm going to just run down the line and take a look at them all. And then we'll hop in each one and drive them around for a second and that'll be that. So and these ones aren't going to be, the last two aren't going to be identical to the one that's in Farm Simulator 22 now, but it's either side. So first up, we have the Z2 or HS80. So, and yeah, if you haven't noticed yet somehow, you can go in this view in your person, and you can zoom in and out and everything. Wrong button. And then, obviously, you can go in normal mode, too. Get a little flashlight on your pocket. Anyway, that's what, that's what this is about. So this is going to be the... Maybe we should go in. Should go in this view, because it'll be able, easier to compare and easier to zoom up on the tractor. So this is going to be the HS80. Obviously, like you can already notice right there, you can't see the engine. It's just blacked out, but... Other than that, and the headlights look a little, a little weird. But, yeah, I'm gonna buy these all like in Farming Simulator. I'll buy them all in stock form. I'm not gonna upgrade them at all, so it's a closer or a more identical comparison. So we got that. Check her out. Get your PTO and everything back there. Then we got the CL80. When I played this game, I liked that one better. It seemed more, because it is, but it seemed more heavier duty. Uh, so we got the CL80 here. This one is also in Farming Simulator 22. And the same thing comes with the weight already attached. So we got that guy. Check out the 3D tires in this game from uh, some of these things I didn't even notice myself earlier, and I even found a couple options in here, so. But this game did have orchards, it did have, so it did have coffee, it did have rice, it has animals, it has baby animals. 
It's got multiple countries that you can play all within the same game, so you can play four maps within the same game, same save game, if you so desire. There's a beacon. Yeah, it does kind of look a little weird from this view. Now this is going to be the 120, the HS 120. Take a look at this guy. Some of these I haven't even looked at myself in farming simulators. They're, they're, they're kind of going to be a surprise to me myself when I film that video. Same thing, I'm imagining you probably can see the engine in farming simulator. Well, I'll find out because I'm going to check it out as you guys are kind of. So that's the HS. And then this is where it's going to differ a little bit because farming simulator 2 has the uh, whatever, whatever HS. Z see uh, whatever it is it has the 170 this is going to be the 150 we'll go faster because we can't really directly compare it because this one's not in the game anyway so that's the 150 and this is the 160 so this is obviously probably going to be the one that's going to be closest to what they have in farming simulator Then we'll get in the first tractor. Take that for a quick drive. Well, first we'll in car all that stuff first. But so, so this is in car. Got your dash. Got your speedometer. All the speedometer. All that stuff works. You get dirt and muddy footprints and stuff and everything in your tractor when it gets dirty. So we got that. I already know that in Farming Simulator that it has like the uh, defrost lines back there, so that's going to be different. But, that's that. That's going to be the interior cam. And you can zoom really far out too, I think. Maybe not. I thought you could go a lot farther than that. I thought that was, yeah, this one's having. So that's your horn. This one doesn't have beacons. So we'll take this for a quick drive. Like, rocks back and forth when you do it. The fields are all, in this game, are all, like, basically perfectly square. The largest field is 62 acres. much harder to make money in this game. You gotta grind, 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 because you don't make as much money for everything. Take a look at the world too. So, drive back over here. park. Now you can't, at least I couldn't forget out when I started playing again, but you can't like uh, turn on or off the tractor. You actually gotta, it's automatic, like if you have it set that way in farming center, so it's on and off when you get in and out. Uh, you can't turn it off manually. So I'm going to show you another, even though that tractor is literally right there, I'm going to show you another feature that was in this game that is very, you might have seen it when I did it by accident, but it was very intelligent. This is how you're going to be able to switch all your tractors. Or if you had, like for example, I have a truck, so you can switch to that, or if you had harvesters or whatever, you click that button. So now, if you have multiple of the same type of tractor, those are when it becomes, I mean, it's not a problem at all, but you either got to know exactly what that mini-map on the bottom looks like, where you're parked at, where you remember it, or know the coordinates, because it shows it in coordinates too. But So that's 160. We're going to want to go to the CL80. Now we're in the CL80. So instead of like tabbing through 3,000 tractors or... See, I keep, I keep... I'm like mixing buttons up so I can keep on trying. 
the keyboard trying to press that. So this is going to be the CL80. Interior. Couple of joysticks there. And the same thing, I think the Farming Simulator 22 version has the defrost lines back there. So we got that going. This one does have a beacon. And they're like a distance spaced kind of, I guess you could say. If you get out of the track and beacon's on, like it'll stay on until you get so far away and then you can't see it anymore. It's the same kind of thing, they kind of rock back and forth. When you repair your vehicles, you can repair like not each each part, but multiple parts so like it breaks it down into like engine suspension tires something else stuff like that you actually have like a nice wash station with a power washer so that's going to be your CL looks like it tops out at 21 I wasn't paying attention to the other one So, let's get over here. Now we're going to jump in the HS120. Wrong button again. This one, I think that's a digital dash as well. You got a lot more buttons and joysticks and whatnot. Like I said, we all know who's going to be better, but... just showing you kind of a comparison because they're the exact same vehicles and how much better is it is a question oops so take off in this guy this one's much sturdier so it doesn't really weight more weightier and this is actually even a light duty one of the three bigger ones. This one's a lot quicker. 32. Yeah, probably 32. You can probably see there's a greenhouse over there. Might as well just drive over by it. That could be a future video comparing the greenhouses. There's an orchard over there. Compare the orchards. I don't like it. All these would take some work, though. I'd have to set all that up and figure out how to use it myself in Farming Simulator. So, this is going to be one of the greenhouses. Just as a teaser, the water is going to go over here in the water tank. Fertilizer is going to go over in the fertilizer box over there. Bye bye, greenhouse. The fruits come out in pallet, and not little pallets, but little boxes, kind of, for the greenhouses. Alright, so that was the HS120, and this is where it's going to be slightly different, so we'll jump in the 150. So this is going to be the 150, so we'll do this. Hey, it's got keys in there too, I didn't notice that. I wonder if they bounce around when you're driving. We might have to look at that. Got a lot more doodads. Get the Z-Tour embroidered on the back seat. Your jumper seat. Well, that's a jumper seat. What's this? Is there like a cooler or an armrest? Beacons on this one. This is a beast of a tractor. Then, we'll, like I guess at the very end, we'll pop in the store real quick and. I think this one's like 25 or something is the top speed on this one. Yep. I can't remember if he does, I can't remember if this guy does anything like with his feet and stuff. I think he does. Maybe not in this tractor, in some of the tractors they do. So that was your 150.
now we'll jump in the 160. Oops. Where am I, man? So this is the 160, so this is probably going to be the closest you're going to get. I'm trying to, like, my life is like sleeping with one eye open. Always. Taking care of my mom and she had a stroke and then fell. And then my brother just called me and said he fell. What is going on? So that's going to be 160. Wasn't paying attention to yeah, so this one's faster again. So, that's going to be your Z-Tor line within Pure Farming. So, we'll go on your little tablet that you can do, it's kind of like the menu, in Farming Summit you can do like absolutely everything from here. Including sell your crops straight from your silo. So you don't even need a trailer if you didn't want to, but they tax you obviously, like 2% or something. Uh, so tractors. This is going to be your HS80 75 horsepower medium tractor. Designed for basic field and orchard work. Then you got your CL80 5 more horsepower, 80 horsepower. And then we'll try and blow by those so you don't see them. <laughs> There's the HS120, 117 horsepower. Cover most of your farming needs. Then we got the 150, 147 horsepower. I think you can kind of probably guess these. Heavy tractor, machine for most tasks and farm. Powerful and sturdy enough to work efficiently even under heavy loads. And then this game, that's one, I mean, probably one thing people didn't like. You can't do any amount of, like, that's it. What you get is what you get with the tractors. Uh, so 163 horsepower. So that's kind of, that's kind of funny. This one's three less than 150, and this is three more than 160. But anyway, 163 horsepower, heavy tractor, yada, yada, yada. So, like I said, we're not going to go too much over the whole game. We're just doing contractors right now. So, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I'm going to try and get a nice little shot just in case I can't figure out how to uh, do some basic editing. And, well, too bad all the field information is in here now. But, because uh, I bought the field. So, I'm going to try and do some basic editing in Share Factory and kind of just put these all together. So you don't have to make you watch two videos. So, we'll have to be done with this and then we're going to have to get into Farming Simulator and throw down some uh, subsidy sign or whatever, government signs and make some money and buy all the tractors and record that one and edit and upload. So, hopefully you guys like this. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you want continuing of this kind of comparison series. Comment. We can do the Landini tractors. We can do the McCormick tractors. We can do the JCBs. We can do Deutzfar. And we can do Lindner. So all of those, basically every single tractor that's in this game is in, and I can't remember the name of it, but the big, the Gigantor one with a bunch of wheels. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. We'll be back in a minute on Farming Simulator 22. Goodbye. Alright everybody, welcome back. 
please like, subscribe, and comment. We're now in the Farming Simulator 22 portion of this video. Hopefully I can get all that one video and figure that out. <laughs> uh, so, these are a little bit smaller selection, but these are the Z tours from, at the moment at least. These are the Z tours from Farming Simulator 22. All the same, basically all the same exact ones that were in Pure Farming that we did earlier. So, like I said, we know who's going to be better. But how much better is it? And if you guys would like to see more, comment and we can step it up and do like the Landini tractors. Then we can do the McCormick's, then we can do the JCBs. And Linder. Deutzfar. The big one. They'll have to remember to go in the shop and look at that they both have. <laughs> So, without further ado, and I kind of rushed the first part of the pre farming section, forgot to honk the horns and all of them, see if all the dash, dashes worked and everything, but do the same thing here. We're going to run up and down all the tractors first, look at them, and then we'll drive them out for a short bit. And at least in this, this portion, we're going to drive them back to the field so we can just hop back out and get in the next tractor, because it's not going to be as easy to switch between vehicles because I still have all the stock vehicles from this map so it'll start trying to switch through everybody else too. Uh, so this is going to be the HS80. It's basically the same in the shop. It said it was 76 orders power instead of 75. So like I was saying in the pure farming section this was all blacked out so you can see the engine in this one. So you glitch your tires and stuff. This one does have a beak. I think it was the opposite in the other game, though. I think this one did. Oh no, it's, it was the same. Never mind. I think it was the same. I'll have to watch it myself. <laughs> so this is going to be the HS80. This is going to be your CL80. So I think it was the same 80 horsepower. Headlights don't look as weird. Still do look a little weird, but not as weird. Bacon's definitely look better. So that's your CL80. This is going to be your... Basically your HS120. It's at 117 horsepower instead of 120. And it had the HSX 120 motor in it, it said, so this is pretty much as close as you can get. Same thing, you can see the engine. This one, I forgot to, uh, yeah, that one's, that one you can, all of them you can. So this is going to be your HS 120. So let's do the same thing, let's honk the horn of one of these. Check out the current stuff, but not necessarily go in and out of your driver try not to make this video so long and then this is going to be where it differs a little bit because this is the 170 we had the 150 and the 160 in pure farming it's probably basically the same exact tractor just different engines this just has a bigger engine and you can see all the lines down there too I didn't notice that like I said I, I haven't even seen these tractors myself so I'm kind of checking them out with you guys in this game at least. So, alright, let's get back down to the first one. Which is, this is going to be your HS2080. So we'll go in car again. Look around. This one seems to have a lot more controls in it. And the defroster lines. Like I said, I knew there was a party in there. See, now I'm going to screw up this game. <laughs> the controls are a little opposite, so... Well, these ones definitely because of transmissions in this, in this game. 
we start off slower, so let's go for a quick little drive here. So that's going to be your HS gear. I've even tried going in it. So this is going to be your seal lady. So you got the horn. Catch a digital dash. I did pop in this one real quick. I couldn't read anything out there though. So yeah, this one's got less joysticks. Maybe I'll have to go back. I'd like to know if to watch everything myself too. Maybe that one did have a lot. I can't remember. This is your seal lady. Take this one for a quick try. These trickers aren't, some of them do, but they're not quite as wobbly. Oh, up here. That's gonna be your sea lady. I did run into one problem already though. Well that I'm gonna have to figure out. Obviously go down these government side these government signs to uh, make the money to buy all the tractors real quick. But now I can't figure out how to delete them. Uh, they're not in the shop. And when you go into the build mode where you buy them. I can't see anywhere to like delete them. Maybe if we walk up to them, I'll have to try that. But that was your seal lady. This is gonna be the 120. So we got the in cab of this guy. Way more gizmos. <laughs> and they look a lot crisper. And then you got the the froster lines on the window again. Yeah, when I started after it started recording, when I started playing this for a second before I went to sleep, I cut down another tree, and they sound way better and pretty amazing when they're falling. If a tree falls in the woods, you'll hear it. <laughs> so this is your 120. Not to make you sick, I was just seeing about the wob wobbliness. Alright. So this is giving me the 170. That actually sounds pretty similar. Except for the transmission. This one we did was 163, so that's pretty close. 25 mile an hour, I think that's the same. So, that was your Zetor tractors in Farming Simulator 22. We'll pop in the store like we did with the other one, look at them real quick, and then thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. If you want to see more, then we can compare more. Compare more tractors, or we can do that first, and further down the line, we can compare different things. 
It'll take a lot of work for me and figuring out how it works myself, but we can do greenhouses, orchards, animals, yada yada. So let's pop in the store real quick. We'll go back up to brands again. See tours. So here's going to be your. This is. They're kind of different backwards in order, but this is your C L eighty. I don't think we ever. We obviously didn't go in, so we'll actually do the same in this one. This is going to be your HS80. I had it at 76 horsepower. This one's 75. So they had it kind of slightly different. This one's the HS120, or as close as we're going to get. This is 117 horsepower. And this was 171 instead of 163 for your big one. So. Thank you everyone. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see if I can get this all in one shebang and in one video.